Sister Wives Janelle Brown Reveals Future Marriage Plans. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip Channel. Lately, Sister Wives is giving little breadcrumbs about the upcoming season. While Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown have exited the plural marriage, they are moving on in their individual lives. Furthermore, the show hints of big happenings in the former wives' lives, and Janelle Brown revealed her future marriage. Plans. Sister Wives crew is ready for another season. Ahead of next week's premiere of Sister Wives Season 19, TLC is sending promotional videos with teasers and sneak peeks of what is to come. Several previews show that the season has many explosive interactions to come. Likewise, TLC has given a trail of hints as to how the Browns are doing in the absence of polygamy. As time rockets toward the debut of Life After Plural Marriage, Mary, Janelle, Christine, Cody, and Robin Brown. Help lighten the mood with a fun word association game. On TLC's Instagram page, they posted a fun word association game with Mary, Janelle, Christine, Cody, and Robin Brown. In the caption, they say, Time for a little word association with the hashtag Sister Wives. New season premieres Sunday, September 15th at 10 9th C. Then, each of the family members is given a word and asked to talk about what comes to mind. Among the words were the show title, Sister Wives, Joy, 2025, Family, Marriage, Twins, and Time. They were individually asked, what comes to mind when you hear, and each gave their thoughts. When they weigh in on what the title makes them think of, Mary just laughs uncontrollably, while Christine is quick to say, drama. Janelle Brown thinks of her bond with Christine when she hears, sister wives. However, Cody smirks and sarcastically whispers a drawn-out, shame. It cycles back to Mary who pops off the answer after she stops laughing, not anymore. Referring to the fact only one wife is remaining. With each new word, they respond with what easily comes to mind. Undeniably, some answers were meant to be funny and others were more serious. Christine is very excited for her future with many of her answers about, David, and, adventure. Robin replies with deep feelings and emotions for her kids and Cody. During the focus on the word, marriage, Janelle Brown gives fans a clear picture of her future plans. When it first shows the awkward word for the family, Janelle just shakes her head, no, and responds flatly, never again. Undeniably, she is not ready to think about pleasing another man at this time. However, Cody Brown on the other hand states, now, the source of all joy. Then, he intentionally smiles big for the camera which allowed him to sidestep the obvious difficulties he has with the former wives. Furthermore, Mary Brown shrugs slightly and describes her feelings about marriage as, happy. Likewise, that was Mary's answer for, family, as well. While Cody says family is, the source of all joy and all pain. One person comments, now, the sense of all joy, and this man had the audacity to torture the other sister wives. That statement says is all buddy. You're the problem. Fans don't seem to blame Janelle Brown for her thoughts on marriage. Instead, they see all of the former wives getting healthier, the post Cody glow up as real smiling face smiling face. Notice how Cody is holding his hands. Not. Anymore. Tears of joy tears of joy I love Mary's answer. Now, the source of all joy, that was so insincere. But one person notices that not everyone answers all the questions, selective answering. What's up with that? The entire Brown family has had an incredibly difficult year. In March, they lost Garrison Brown to suicide. The aftermath hasn't been easy, especially for his mother and siblings. Maddie Brown brushes Garrison's full sister and took his loss especially hard. Online, Maddie is generally pretty open with followers. This week marked a difficult milestone for the family, prompting the TLC star to share her feelings. See what she had to say about pain and loss. Maddie Brown Brush reflects on six months without Garrison. This week marks the six-month anniversary of Garrison Brown's tragic death. His mother Janelle shared her grief on social media. Now, Maddie Brown Brush is opening up about her own experience. Six months. It's been six months since this. Beautiful soul left us, and not a day goes by that I don't think about him. In some ways, 
It feels like he crosses my mind even more now, which might be a sad truth for many who've lost someone in this way. Maddie began her tear-jerking Instagram post. She attached photos of Garrison playing with her children and went on to discuss how deeply people all over the world are impacted by a loved one ending their own life. Sadly enough, she also adds that her entire family was blindsided by Garrison's death. My brother, Garrison, had his struggles, but this was not something any of us saw any signs for. We were truly blindsided, Maddie continued. We talked regularly, and my mom's kids have always been close-knit, even as life changed around us. Garrison was sarcastic and witty, and in moments of seriousness, he seemed almost uncomfortable with it, like it was hard for him to be vulnerable. Six months. It's been six months since this beautiful soul left us, and not a day goes by that I don't think about him. In some ways, it feels like he crosses my mind even more now. Which might be a sad truth for many who've lost someone in this way. Alam constantly reminded just how many people are touched by this kind of loss. Every day, I hear from people who, like me, were blindsided by the sudden absence of a loved one. Sometimes it's bullying, sometimes it's loneliness, and sometimes it's mental health, which I don't think we fully understand. My brother, Garrison, had his struggles, but this was not something any of us saw any signs for. We were truly blindsided. We talked regularly, and my mom's kids have always been close-knit, even as life changed around us. Garrison was sarcastic and witty, and in moments of seriousness he seemed almost uncomfortable with it like it was hard for him to be vulnerable i miss him dearly and the truth is i don't know how to talk about this his death took us all by surprise it leaves me wondering if we talked about mental health more openly could something have changed i'll never know for sure but what do know is that the hurt doesn't go away it just transfers and sometimes it feels amplified. For anyone who's been touched by this kind of loss, my heart is with you. You're not alone in the pain, and it's okay not to have all the answers. I miss him dearly, and the truth is, I don't know how to talk about this. His death took us all by surprise. It leaves me wondering, if we talked about mental health more openly, could something have changed? I'll never know for sure. But what I do know is that the hurt doesn't go away. It just transfers. And sometimes, it feels amplified. For anyone who's been touched by this kind of loss, my heart is with you. You're not alone in the pain, and it's okay not to have all the answers, Maddie concluded her post. Instagram users react to the heartbreaking post. In the comments, Maddie Brown's Instagram. Followers offered their condolences and support. Her brother Peden wrote, Oh I was not ready for this post. Other Instagram users added. You have a gift Maddie. Your ability to transfer from your beautiful heart the profoundness of sudden loss into words is so special. Your words help those of us who have experienced sudden loss to articulate and process our deepest feelings and emotions. My heart breaks for you. My daughter attempted suicide two weeks ago and had been. On a ventilator since. Having had a brother who also committed suicide. This is certainly hard. Thinking of you always. Sending you and your family so much love today and every day. It's an impossible thing to maneuver, but you're doing it. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown will grieve her son Garrison for the rest of her life. Burying a child is one of the most difficult things a person will ever go through in their life. Six months after his death, Janelle shared a beautiful tribute to her late son on her social media channels. See what she had to say as she reflects on this tragic milestone. Janelle Brown mourns six months without Garrison. Although significant time has passed since Garrison Brown took his own life, his family feels his absence every day. Online, many members of the family have shared sweet tributes to their late family members. On Instagram, she penned a heart-wrenching message to her son on the six-month anniversary of his death. Six months ago today you went away. You come up in my photo memories almost every day, Janelle shared with her Instagram followers. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you're gone. And then I remember I won't be getting a call or text from you and it all comes rushing back. 
I know you fought hard but in the end you just couldn't stay. I love you so much and will see you again when my journey is done. Fans felt immediately heartbroken by Janelle's touching words. Instagram users wrote, The strength it probably took to just write this let alone live it. May God give you all that you need to endure heartbreak. Thinking of you and the family red heart. Love to you Janelle. Hopefully, the pain will lessen over time. Just look after yourself as much as you do your other kids red heart. A mama's love will never fade. He knew you loved him. Every time he would talk on the show I always felt intrigued to really listen to what he had to say. It was always heartfelt and you could feel his emotion. Awesome kid you raised heart. Sister Wives season 19 moves forward with filming amid the tragedy. After Garrison died, many Sister Wives viewers thought TLC should cancel the show. However, the network continued filming and it's widely believed his death will make it into season 19. McKelty Brown Padron spoke out against this move and expressed concern her brother's death wouldn't be handled with tact or care. McKelty is generally a polarizing figure in the Sister Wives fandom. But most viewers agreed with her on this topic. Lately, Sister Wives has been promoting the new season that is right around the corner. While some people are excited to see the explosive fights ahead, others think that TLC will cancel the show. Is Cody Brown liquidating all of their assets because there is no more cash coming in from TLC? Robin and Cody Brown are making surprising shifts. Recently, Sister Wives fans have been on high alert after seeing Robin and Cody Brown have their mansion for sale. Undeniably, it seems like they may be quickly shifting gears to sell the home before the series comes to an end. Seemingly, there are signs that people are picking up on pointing to the series wrapping up, including featuring Garrison Brown's death in an expedited timeline. One fan spots reasons to believe Cody and Robin may be making a last-ditch effort to recover as much money as possible before their contracts expire. On Reddit, Sister Wives viewers brought up observances they have about the listing of Robin and Cody Brown's home. At first, a user starts the conversation, the artwork. Then, they offer thoughts on why Cody and Robin left so many things in the photos for online viewing. They say, looking at the Zillow listing, I think the reason all of the artwork and sculptures are on full display is because Cody is advertising them. He's hoping someone touring the house will ask about a particular piece in the realtor will say that it's for sale. They are liquidating assets. Maybe he has them up for sale on some art collectibles website too. Just mo I have no idea if this is true. Another contributor says, I commented in another post this art is the downsized stuff. I'm betting they had way more tacky expensive crap around that they put in storage and this is what they left out thinking it's understated. While Cody Brown has always placed high importance on the show's money. Undeniably. His strategies may have to shift if TLC is pulling the cord on the show. I think it's because taking them down will require them to fix the holes in the walls, and that's a lot of holes. Not to mention someone in a sub has found the paint color to be the same as when the property was bought. So that's a cluster nightmare of matching paint colors. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe our channel.